What's up guys, it's Joel Punisher's Paintball. Today we've got a special video for you guys. We've got the MacDev Droid, the new one on the market, and we are here to do an efficiency test. We already did our overview video. Make sure that you check that out, but we are here to get an idea of how many shots we can get out of this DRD. So with that said, make sure that you like and subscribe. We'll see you guys after the intro. All right, guys, so here we are. We've got the DRD. We've got a case of Valken Pro. We're outside back of my house, and we are here to get this done. So with that said, one thing that we always do on our efficiency test is we use a 77 size tank. So that's what we've got, SL277. We've got a powerhouse TKO. We've got an 8.5 insert that came from one of our MacDev GTXs. Uh, some to note is that it only comes with an 8.9 from the factory, but we wanted to try and bore size this a little bit to get an accurate number um, if you're bore size. So with that said, the Valken Pro, that broke absolute money at that 8.5 um, that's what we got on it right now so we are going to strap that up we've got the SL277 and as you guys can see there we are just shy of 4500 we try to top it off the best that we could for you guys um, but we are really close and then we're using a Spire 5 loader I'm gonna air this up so far so good as far as uh, the few times that we shot it so far it's been it's been good no leaks no, none of the solenoid issues and we are going to get a shot count here oh there we go 673 shots and we were kind of messing around with the other day and shooting higher rate of fire i'm gonna go to 10.2 okay guys so 673 shots 10.2 balls a second we are just shy of 4500 psi and here we go all right, yep, 297, 311, 291, 296, 284. All right, so two A's, 290's, pretty much right where we need to be. I'm gonna walk this. And I will say it shoots, it's shooting good. Like, it's shooting straight. It's got a little bit of feedback to it, a little poppiness to it, but not bad. And about 2,000 PSI. And she's getting cold. All right. Ooh, Cody, we're at a thousand psi already. All right, guys, first signs of drop off. We're gonna stay true to our testing. Um, we probably could still milk it out, as you guys can see there on the regulator. Might need to zoom in on a little bit, code. Yep. Got it? Yep. Okay. So, I am, at this point, gonna turn the marker off. Cody, why don't you come to the other side here? And we, we are gonna go into settings. 
and 1838. And what did we start it with? 600 and So that's like what, 1200 shots? Yeah. So 1200 shots off of 77. So that would be, if you take a hopper as 200, 1000 divided by 140. So that would be a hopper and seven pods. That's not great. Did you say 1600? 1200. It was 18, it was yeah. 637 was our starting, mm -hmm. and then 1838 were first signs you of drop said, off. You said now. minus a hopper, I got you, I got you. Yeah, yeah. So you took 200 off. I mean, it's still shooting though, like, let's try and milk it out, just might as well for people. 285, 287, 286. You know, it, it might be, well, we had it like tur turned up right at 300. Can't yeah, I can't hold the ramp, guys. So, all right, there you guys have it, guys. Right above 1,200 shots, SL277, bore size, good paint, um, everything else out of that, out of the MacDev Droid. I'll say, for the most part, you know, pretty good. Um, obviously, like, your other competitors in the market, it's going to be the Shocker, the DSR Pro, or the GTAC 180R. Those are going to get better efficiency numbers than this, but overall, not too bad. And I will say, I really like the way that this thing feels and shoots. Um, so there you guys have it. That is the efficiency test on the MacDev Droid.